Hey, how's it going? This is just an introduction to my set of videos that cover all the theory needed for the Edexcel GCSE 9 to 1 computer science course. I've been making GCSE videos since 2014, and in that time, lots of people have managed to get top grades even just by watching the videos, so I hope they will be helpful to you as well. If you do watch the videos, please make sure you use the playlists on my channel that are both specific to Edexcel and specific to the component you're advising, so paper one, paper two, depending on what you're doing. And I'd recommend you save the playlist to your library so you can access it quicker instead of having to go through my channel every time. And all the videos in those playlists, so there's two playlists, I really follow Edexcel specification, whereas other videos on my channel are for old courses or different exam boards or A-level videos. So be a little bit careful, you know, if you watch related videos instead of using a playlist, you might end up watching something which has no relevance to your exam. This course has three components, two exams and one NEA, which stands for non-exam assessment, which is in the form of a programming project. Now normally, or technically, both exams would be worth 40% of the overall grade and then the NEA would be the remaining 20%. But due to issues at the moment with the NEA, it isn't counting towards the final grade. So both exams are effectively worth 50% each. So your whole grade is gonna come from the two exams, which is hopefully where the videos would come in handy. Both exams are worth 80 marks each, but paper one lasts for one hour 40 minutes, whereas paper two is two hours long. Paper one is a relatively traditional exam. It covers all the topics and is, yeah, just a normal exam really. Um, so a lot of content there. You need to give yourself enough time to go through the whole playlist for paper one. Whereas paper two is based on a scenario, so is more application based by nature. It primarily covers theory on programming and algorithms, that's going to be the main content of that paper which you would have revised before, but they can ask you about any of the other topics in the course. So this is a bit unpredictable clearly, but if you've revised well for paper one, you should still remember the content for paper two, that's for theory at least. And the other main point is you can't use a calculator in either exam, but for maths is not going to be that challenging. My main piece of advice for you studying would be to make use of the course specification and this is a document published on the exam board's website and it, it basically outlines everything to do with the course. So a lot of it is just for teachers, so administrative stuff about moderation and so on, but a lot of it is really useful for students too. Most students don't use it, in fact some teachers don't use it. So part of the specification is the subject content, so it basically outlines all the bullet points of the content that the exam board wanted to know. And making my videos, I followed the specification directly, and the consequence of that should be that I haven't left anything out, that's the plan, or included stuff which is not necessary for your exam. I don't want to waste your time by including stuff which isn't relevant for your course. So two main points, use playlists on my channel to navigate to the correct videos, and also use the specification in a more general sense. And if you have any questions, you can email me or leave a comment. My email address is always in the description of the video. And other than that, I hope the videos are helpful and everything goes really well.